Hey everyone, and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I am Clifton, and today we are reviewing Calumet Farms 15 year old bourbon. Now, you may have heard of Calumet Farms from some of their lower end products like their small batch. Um, it's all, I always see it in total wine, but they've also been releasing these high end mature whiskeys, including a 14 year, I think last year, and a new 15 year for 2021. So this sample actually comes to me from viewer and patron of the show, Fred. Thank you so much, Fred, for this sample. I'm so excited to finally have a chance to try this one. I know you're a fan of this one, so I'm excited to see if I like it as well. By the way, if you do want to support the show, you can become a patron and get access to our things like our after party hangout, our monthly hangout, and lots of other cool perks. So you can check that out at patreon.com slash bourbon bites. So they actually call their 15 year series a single rack black, which I assume is referring to the Rick House, you know, where these were aged. This one is 27501.9. Now I did a quick search on YouTube and I see that Cameron Drums and Drams had this exact same rack for his review. So y'all go check out his videos. Awesome whiskey tuber. I love the stuff that he's putting out. As you may know, Calumet Farm is a non-distilling producer, so they don't actually make this bourbon on site. They actually source it. They do not tell you on the bottle where it's from. They do tell you it is a Kentucky bourbon. But if you go on their website, they actually tell you the mash bill, which is 74% corn, 18% rye, and 8% malted barley, which if you do a little research, that is the mash bill of Barton, aka the people that make 1792. Plus, we know that Barton does source out a lot of their whiskey, so it only makes sense. The MSRP on this is about $130. I've seen it get up to $150 in my area. Um, it does really depend on where you're at, but it's supposed to be around $130. It also comes in at 105 proof, which is a lower proof than I've seen from a lot of Barton sourced whiskeys. Usually they do release it at cast strength. So I'm curious to see if that proof holds up, especially for the $130 price point. Let's go ahead and give it a nose though. Oh yeah, <laughs> if the mash bill wasn't enough on the nose, this is very, very clearly Barton juice. <laughs> on the nose though, I, I'm not overwhelmed by like an artificial banana note, which y'all know is my least favorite note in a whiskey. I sometimes get that on Barton. I'm not necessarily getting it on this one. I do get a lot of oak at the front. I do get some banana, but it's coming across a little more natural than the artificial runts banana note that I particularly don't like about certain Barton releases. It's a nice nutty, toasty um, banana nut bread kind of note even. I'm, I'm totally on board with that. Definitely on the nose, the, the age shines through. There is a lot of oak. You can tell this is a well-aged product, um, but it doesn't necessarily smell over-oaked, but we'll see how it holds up on the palate because sometimes that's usually where you can find that out. So cheers, guys. <laughs> that age is very obvious. That is a very, very oaky. <laughs> it's a bit of an oak bomb for sure. Fortunately, I'm someone that does appreciate and really does like that. So I think for some people that might be a bit overwhelming. It is a bit tannic for sure. But y'all know based on the other whiskeys that you know I love, I do like a good well oaked bourbon. It is kind of reminding me of the one orphan barrel I've had. I think it was the 24 year. I did a review on it, so I'll put that up here. So it is reminiscent of that. I don't think it's as oaky, but there are still those, you know, bit bitter tannic notes on this whiskey. But for Unfortunately, there's a lot more behind that as well. I'm getting like a really, really dark caramel note on it. It's not like the sweet, you know, like caramel sauce. It's more of like a caramel, um, caramel bark even. I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm thinking like peanut brittle, but like with a lot of caramel in it. Dark roasted peanuts even. It's, it's definitely a dark note. There's not like a bright fruitiness on this. Um, like you would expect from other Barton releases. I, I don't think I get any of that banana on the palate. What's most interesting is this only being 105 proof. That's a very low proof point for something of this age. Usually when I'm trying something at 15 years old, it's typically a bit higher proof. But then again, y'all know that Knob Creek did release a 15 year um, small batch 100 proof release. And even though I'm a Knob Creek fan, I, I definitely prefer this over that Knob Creek. It's a lot more balanced. Um, there's a lot more to it than just the oak. There's definitely some kind of allspice going on in there. It's, it's not a particular spice that's jumping out to me. Not typically like the cinnamon that sometimes I get on Barton in addition to the banana. Um, it's just more of like a, just a generic spice. Lots of oak spice, I guess that's a thing. It definitely gives you a bit of a Kentucky hug even with that lower proof. It does stick around uh, on the gullet. <laughs> So of course it's the time in the review where I have to say, is this worth the price point of $130? Given the age of 15 years, the fact that it's non-chilled filtered, and that it's coming in at a respectable 105 proof, I gotta say, I do recommend this at retail. I know the other Calumet products kind of get a bad rap, but I think this may be the whiskey that redeems themselves because it drinks like a premium limited edition whiskey, and at $130 to $150, I think I, I definitely give it a recommendation. 
Again, thank you so much, Fred, for this sample. Um, if you guys ever want to send me a whiskey to review, just send me a message. We'll work something out. I'd love to have a chance to try something that either you really like or you really dislike. I'd love to have it on the channel and share my thoughts on that whiskey. But until next time, this has been Bourbon Bites. I'm Clifton. Cheers, and I will see you next video.